Well, thanks for visiting us here at KTALnews.com and your weather authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Morses, and this is your Saturday evening into Sunday forecast update. And first things first, we do have the risk of seeing some severe weather in the Arkletex here after sunset. Saturday evening into Saturday night, the window here for severe storms looks to be from about 7 p.m. and I would say until about 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. Keep in mind the time change tonight, so don't forget to set those clocks forward uh, but it looks like we are going to see a push of thunderstorms very close to the northern Arkletex tonight so the uh, threat level is a slight risk level two outlook so uh, along and north of I-30 that threat is going to be highest tonight and can't rule out some severe storms in the green area here but it's less likely that we would see any severe weather in that marginal risk area but some of the ingredients there still exist and the uh, main and overriding threat tonight is going to be for some very large hail in fact uh, could see hail up to two inch in diameter. So we're starting to talk about uh, hail that is golf ball sized and maybe up to egg sized hail out there tonight. So what you can do is uh, if you live in the northern Arkletex, make sure your car is parked in the garage or under a carport or protected from the uh, weather tonight and can't rule out maybe a damaging wind gust or two. And there's a much lower threat to see a brief tornado here that can't be ruled out uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But it looks like the uh, overriding overwhelming threat for us is going to be for some large hail. And I wanted to point out as well, I know there's probably a lot of people uh, camping up there this weekend, whether it's in Broken Bow or uh, maybe over towards Millwood Lake or up in the Washita Mountains. So if you do know anybody, any families that are out there camping tonight, either in a tent, camper, or on a boat, those are some of the locations or some of the uh, areas that you don't want to be tonight. And you especially don't want to be in a tent with that large hail and maybe a wind threat coming through as well. So if you know anybody that is uh, out there camping this weekend be sure to send them a text or just uh, straight up call them and kind of give them the warning that we are expecting some uh, severe weather tonight so let's go ahead and uh, talk about a little bit more about uh, what we can expect as far as the timing of the storms here and the overall setup for us you may have noticed the uh, temperatures warming up today we've had this warm front uh, slowly progressing north through the Arkletex throughout the day today and the temperatures have uh, risen into the 70s here in most areas so the warm air for the severe storms is there and you can see it's a little cooler north of I-30 so uh, where that warm front is we're going to have an area of low pressure and a cold front moving right over that later tonight so that intersection of the warm front and the cold front is uh, going to be where we see the most significant weather latest look at some of the forecast models here uh, does show we may have a little wiggle room to kind of miss out on these storms so uh, crossing all of our fingers and all of our toes that that is how it plays out tonight but sometime around sunset tonight you'll see the these storms begin to fire up here so uh, initially these storms will be capable of that very large hail but as they mature throughout the night we definitely could see a few damaging wind gusts so if you're here north of I-30 especially in McCurtain uh, severe Howard Hempstead Nevada counties I think that's where we need to be on uh, highest alert for that potential for severe storms and then notice by about midnight uh, future cast here does show those storms moving east of the region this front will still progress through the Arkletex tonight so uh, some of this activity here that's being advertised is maybe some light rain around sunrise tomorrow it may actually be some thunderstorm activity close to Shreveport around sunrise but will kind of gradually dry out tomorrow may see those clouds linger for much of the day here on Sunday and it will be breezy and cooler with highs uh, falling back into the 60s as we go through the day tomorrow that was the uh, forecast model that updates every hour I did want to show you our in-house model here which is painting kind of a similar situation with those storms popping up very close to the Washita mountains so uh, this forecast model as well saying hey if you're in the very far northern counties here of Oklahoma and Arkansas just be on high alert but you can see maybe a few storms as far south as Texarkana uh, before midnight tonight. And that's why Texarkana is in that level two slight risk as well. Uh, through the overnight hours, this uh, forecast model does hint at some of that rain down towards Shreveport around sunrise tomorrow. And uh, this one showed a little more sun popping out tomorrow afternoon, which is what I'm buying into. So I do think we'll see enough sun to kind of crank the temperatures back into the 60s and 70s tomorrow, but uh, definitely cooler than what we experienced today. Really the rain, not too much to be worried about here. We're showing most locations less than a 10 of an inch of rain but if you do uh, kind of tap into these thunderstorms in the northern Arkletex some areas can see about an inch of rain but we know these storms will be moving very quickly so the overall 
threat of any flash flooding is fairly low. Uh, let's look at those lows tonight. It will range anywhere from uh, cool weather in the 40s north of I-30 to pretty mild in the 50s and 60s elsewhere. And uh, high temperatures on Sunday close to average actually should be in the 60s as well as the low 70s here. But with the clouds, with that breezy north wind, uh, if you're doing anything outside, take some long sleeves or just a light jacket with you and uh, should be comfortable for uh, much of the afternoon on Sunday. Cool air keeps coming Sunday night. Uh, we will see these temperatures into the 40s overnight and in the 60s Monday and Tuesday. We get that warm up next Wednesday and Thursday. That warm air building ahead of another cold front which will come in uh, likely late Thursday into Friday. I think a lot of this rain will uh, come during the overnight hours. Pretty strong front that will take us from the 80 to the 50s. So we're not quite done with the cold air. It looks like our temperatures will fall into the 50s for highs Friday through next weekend. So next weekend is looking chilly for us. And uh, I wanted to uh, also point out here, it doesn't look like we'll see much of a severe weather threat late this week, but it's far enough out that uh, the timing and some of the threats with the uh, next storm system here could change. Right now it looks like some decent rain late next week. Looks like low potential for severe weather, but obviously uh, since that is still five to six days away, we may see some uh, changes to the overall forecast. So if you have some outdoor plans late in the upcoming week here, uh, make sure you're checking back for updates throughout the week.